So we start our day going to the post office to check the mail. And we get the mail for all of the missionaries on the island. These are all post office boxes. So when I open the box, I'm looking for a sheet of paper that tells me I have a package waiting. And the package will be at this brown door at the end of the hall. I have to knock and ask them. So on preparation day, we do our laundry. Kind of wait for our clothes, it takes about half an hour or so, so we'll go check on people and then come back. I got a breadfruit on my window. So we gotta go clean uh, the truck. It's part of the P Day operations. But we're gonna go check on our sick people. Sister Valentine's gonna play nurse. To the left here, they're adding on to their building, and this is what it looks like. A little uh, sketchy. The people don't have to worry about any permits. They can build their own house, and nobody cares how they build it. If it's crooked, oh well. Notice there's no license plates. I don't even think you need to take a driver's test to drive here. This is really weird. See, they wait for you. Pull out, which is nice. Very courteous. There's a school. Ace Hardware. It's our favorite store. It's the most Americanized. Fire truck. Yeah, little tiny things. There's little stores and shops all along the road. They sell their stuff. The gas station there with the black tarp they're not open that's how you know here's the port all the fishermen coming in and other people from other islands come here to Ooh, shop how bad that ocean has been the ocean's a little i'm not happy today there's another gas station another gas they're open station. they're the most expensive six and a quarter how much it is a gallon there. There's not as many people. 
people in town today? So, where oh, are they're selling their fish. Oh, it's vegetables, it looks like. Oh. There are islands that do grow things. They come in and sell their stuff, it looks like. Speaking the language is the hardest part. Boonie dogs. dogs. These are boonie dogs. Just, they're everywhere. Nobody owns them. They reproduce constantly. There's another harbor. Nobody's in this one. It's Look at too, the water. Too rough. Yeah, usually this is full, but there's nobody here because it's too rough. Wow. The wind's coming directly in. You can see that boat out there. Probably not on camera. This yeah, is the little... health center right here. You come and you sit in the chairs and wait for your time to go in. There's one in our other video. Seas are a little rough today. Yeah, look at that ship out there. Rocking and rolling. That's where the gas is shipped into. here there's no boats or anything might have to come back and do this another day very busy today some shops this is this is called truck stop truck stop this white building it's a hotel This green building is a police station. district center, like a steakhouse. And all the, all the uh, missionaries. junior missionaries' vehicles are all here. All these pickup trucks, that's what they drive. We'll go check on them, make sure they're feeling okay. Sound good? So this is the other side of the road as we're heading back to get our laundry. All the island property is owned by someone, so there's no parking lots, bare ground, anywhere. And 
Foreigners cannot own any land in Chuuk. So, and everyone is also pretty much related to everyone else. So they have their property for their lifetime. coolers that you see in front of these shops are the fresh fish that they've caught and they put them on ice and sell them. <laughs> 